Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. We are in the kitchen again today. Um, I've been watching way too many Bon Appetit test kitchen videos, and I've just been like, I just wanna cook a bunch of stuff, cause I'm bored. So today, we're making pasta, homemade pasta, and then I'm gonna make a homemade sauce too, and then I'm gonna have dinner. So, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use the blender, and the little dough hook instead of putting the flour and all that stuff in a, in a pile and then making the well in it then put the eggs in it and then like doing all that i'm just gonna do it in the mixer so it's not the traditional way but it's okay we're still making it so yeah let's let's get started um first thing i'm doing is i'm gonna take my little bowl here a little mixing bowl and I'm just gonna put all the ingredients in it and then use my hands to knead it and then use the dough hook. Okay, and pasta is not that hard to make, I don't think. to put it in the blender or in the mixer. So that's doing nothing. It's not hard to make pasta. Um, all right, so the recipe says then to do it with the dough thing for 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, about 10 minutes, and I already kneaded it a bit, so we're just going to let it go for 10 minutes and then see what happens. Okay, I'm just gonna hand knead it instead of using the mixer for the last couple of minutes because I like doing that. Okay, so the dough is all done and kneaded together. And now I'm just gonna wrap it up and let it chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. And then while it was mixing, I got out my little pasta attachments and we're gonna make fettuccine pasta and then we're gonna make our sauce and I'm gonna make a vodka sauce but now we, we just have to wait 30 minutes for the dough to chill and then we'll come back and roll it out and make some pasta okay so the pasta has chilled in the fridge for 30 minutes and now we're gonna roll it out and thin it out with a little pasta thinner so right now it's on the widest setting. Okay, I'm gonna thin out all the pasta and then we're going to do the shapes. Okay, so I have all of my pasta rolled out into sheets. Here's one of them. Um, and then I'm going to just make a little bit of it spaghetti for like actual food. And then I'm going to just play around and try and make like different shapes of pasta without the machines and just use my hands. Okay, that was so much fun. So here's our spaghetti. 
I'm just gonna make that into a cute little ball and put it aside for later. That was so fun. Okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to try and make my own little shapes and see what happens. Oh, that's gonna be really thick. I'm just gonna make it all spaghetti, actually. I don't wanna try and make any fun shapes. Okay, so I got all of the pasta all cut and shaped into the little spaghetti. And now I'm boiling the water for that. I need to find a lid. So I'm boiling the water for that, and then I'm gonna make the sauce now. Okay, I'm gonna make the sauce right now, and then, um, then I'm gonna add the pasta and then do all that. And then I'll come back and show you guys the final product. Dad, why even put it in? I'm laughing because even though you were crawling, you were still in frame. No! Delete it! No, I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> okay, so ah! I'm gonna let. Okay, so I just um, went back and realized that in the last clip where I was showing my food, the microphone was not turned on, so I didn't get any of that audio, but here's what my food looked like. Here's how it all turned out. Um, I don't really remember what I was saying, but I know that um, the I thought the noodles were a little overcooked, but other than that, it was really good. You know? It was good. I have no idea what this audio is saying because it cut out, but um, see you guys in my next video. Bye!